What's going on, collectives? It is your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So let's tap in, collectives. Thank you to all my subscribers. I love y'all so much. So let me pay it forward. Archangel Michael and the leg walk, please protect me. Protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my chakras as I tap into the most important messages surrounding the collective's energy today. Astro projection. So you are guided and protected right now. All right. A higher power is looking over you and your current situation. All right. Right now you're having an out of body experience where nothing you used to like is serving you no more. Not the same foods, the same people. You're not attracted to the same things or the same people, places and things no more. And that's what that's what's called out of body experience. For some of you guys, you've been dreaming that yourself or your being is living another life or a reality. All right. When you go to sleep, you're having very vivid dreams about you not being who you are. All right, and this is a big, significant change that you're undergoing because you have left your old self behind, all right? It's like a snake shedding old skin. You, you, you've you going through and you're going, you have have undergone or you're going through a rebirth where you're shedding your old skin. Nothing, I mean, nothing that you used to like or appeal to you is doing something to you. You are a whole new person. Even down to your eating habits for some of you guys. All right? You have left your old body in 2023. Okay? And throughout this process, it might be scary because if you are in a situation where you're no longer being pulled to your friends group no more, you probably feel isolated. If you are being called to a, a different industry or a different career, that might be scary. But this is all a part of the process of shedding old skin and becoming the best and highest version of yourselves. All right. The vivid dreams that you are having when it comes to you being in another reality where it's better. That is just your higher self saying this is where you're going. The past, the present, and the future is all occurring at the same time. So when we dream about ourselves being another place, another house, or somewhere that is nice, good jobs... That's happening, but just in the future. And what's getting you there in that reality, what's allowing you to tap in to that frequency and tune into that frequency is the sacrifices you're making. All right, you're actually showing up as the person you want to be. All right, so you're shedding no skin. All right, you're having an out-of-body experience where nothing that used to do something for you is doing something for you no, no more. And it's not even you. It is your body rejecting it. Okay? Um, you're guiding and protected right now throughout this process. So, Spirit, give me more on this energy, please, and thank you. All right, yeah. You was out of alignment. In a recent past, before you had this awakening, or before you went through this enlightenment or spiritual awakening to where you just kind of ready to give up the old you, like nothing is serving you no more, like you're just ready for new, um, you were definitely out of alignment, all right? You didn't feel protected, you didn't feel guided, um, and there was a lot of chaos in your life where your, your chakras was out of alignment. You were thrown off. You was trying to carry too much weight on you. And you were becoming imbalanced. All right? It was too much weight being put on you. All right? You are strong. Don't get me wrong. You are strong. But that doesn't mean you are you are able to hold up all that weight you was trying to handle by yourself. All right? So you definitely was out of alignment 
in a situation and right now you're going through an awakening to where you are not your old self you don't want to be around the, uh, the same people you don't want to do the same things the same people are not attracting to you no more you you in a whole different mind frame of doing different things in your hobbies all right your skills is is heightening so you want to do different things tapping into your unique abilities so yeah you are out of alignment but right now you're being protected all right yeah there were definitely a lot of blockages preventing you to get past your current situation all right so spirit give me more on this astral projection out of body experience for some of you guys for some of you guys i'm picking up that y'all was in a lot of day y'all was in a lot of dangerous situations where you felt like your life was gonna end at some point for some of you guys all right yeah, pink aura. Yeah, you're glowing. All right, you're more calm now. For a lot of you guys, you know, pink is the color of divine feminine. It is the color of, you know, rebirth, birth, joy, bringing life into the world. It's the color of manifestation. It is the color of love. You know, aside from the green, your heart chakra, it is like being in love, you know? Um, so I feel like right now, your God could, could come down. You're around people where you can let your guard down, where you feel emotionally safe, where you're feeling inspired by your heart and how people are making you feel, all right? You feel like brighter days are ahead. You feel like the changes that you're making and the people, places, and things you're attracting in your life right now, you feel good about it. It's like giving you that emotional high, okay? Spirit, give me more on this guided and protected. And your dreams, your high hopes, your fantasies, your desires is really protected at this time too. All right, look, self-care, exactly. You have no worries right now. No matter if you are masculine, a male or a feminine, a female, right now, you are prioritizing self-care right now. You're not really focused on the what's who's or what's behind you or who's trying to ignore you right now. Um, you're worried about yourself. Okay, there's a lot of prioritizing self. There's a lot of time out for people. All right, there's a lot of time out for people. You guys are ghosting a lot of people. You guys are not validating why you want to kind of just separate for a little while. But you definitely prioritizing your alone time. And however you want to do, whatever you want to do that, do with that time alone, that's how, what you're doing. All right, you're treating yourself more. Okay, whether it's some, something little or big. All right, and you're more in a relaxed state. You more are, uh, you feel more protected in some kind of way. You feel, look, you hear that? Do do. That was confirmation. There's a sense of you feeling protected in your situation. You finally feel like there's a higher power looking over you, and you finally, you finally could treat yourself a little more. All right, so this. Yeah, you you you're becoming back into alignment. You're tuning back into the frequency that you're supposed to be in after being out of alignment for for a while. All right, so knowing you safe, especially emotionally emotionally safe. All right, knowing that you're secure. All right, and you're able to treat yourself. All right, it is allowing you to move forward with confidence. Spirit, give me more when it's out of alignment. Damn. All right, hold on. Spirit, give me more on this out of alignment, please, and thank you. All right, self-healing. All right, self-healing. So there's a lot of healing energy going on. All right, there is a lot of balancing. All right. There's a lot of trusting in your intuition. There's a lot of wanting just to stay out the way. All right. Right now, y'all doing a lot of self-work. All right. And by doing that and choosing to do that, however you choose to, it's healing yourself. You're healing yourself and you're loving yourself. It's like big on loving yourself right now. Because before anybody can love you, you got to love on yourself. Now, I'm picking up on a different message. If you guys are coming into a relationship or for some of you guys, you soon will be meeting somebody, okay? 
You guys are both um, mirroring each other right now. You are prioritizing yourself. They are prioritizing yourself. I mean, prioritizing their self. And uh, the energy is mirroring each other where y'all on the same type of frequency. For those of you guys that are in a relationship, that are evolving or about to be in one, if you're not. All right? Y'all both on a self-healing journey. Y'all both on the same type of life path. For a lot of you go, a lot of you guys, the things that they like about you is how you prioritize yourself. All right. Um, for the feminines out there, what they love about you is how you take a time out for yourself, no matter what. They love that about you because that's what they need to learn. And for my masculines out there, the feminine that you're with or will be with, if you haven't met them already, um, they're going to love how you are peaceful. They're going to love how you don't like to argue or you rather find a solution rather than bicker. They're going to love how you really, you know, are light. All right. And you are problem solving. They love how you can result to something more peaceful than always resulting in a negative way. All right. It's going to be something about how calm you are. All right, so very, very good energies for those of you guys that are resonating as maybe a love situation. All right, there's a lot of boundaries that you've set when it comes to feeling way down. All right, there's a lot of boundaries that has been put into place when it comes to being in a lot with yourself and your physical body having your head on straight feeling good smelling good being spiritually emotionally spiritually financially intact all right these are healthy boundaries that you put into place all right these are healthy routines that you are starting to do now all right and one of the bigger biggest ones here is that prioritizing yourself the more you prioritize yourself the more you love on yourself just as much as you want love from somebody is the more you're going to attract that same type of person. Okay, so this is good energy. All right, so spirit, give me more. Um, Let's see what's the closing out messages. I think this message is very clear for you guys. Spirit, get look, the message is very clear. All right. You know what's being presented to you. You know what you are looking for. There's messages that you've been made aware of. Or there's messages that have been that you've been receiving. All right. This could be conversations. This could be texts, emails. Okay. For some of you guys, this is a message that everything is working in your favor in court. If you had any legal cases or legal problems in the recent past, rest assured. All right, yeah. Rest assured that all will be turned in your favor. Okay? You're going to receive some type of document or you will. And for some of you guys that's not dealing with any type of legal matters, this could be just cosmic justice for you. All right, but if you were dealing with type of anything or court was impacting your relationship and, you know, letting your guard down because you had a lot on your mind, all of that is going in your favor and you're not going to have nothing to worry about no more. Yeah, it's going to be smooth sailing is what I'm seeing. All right, anything about this court spirit? Because I know that's probably what y'all want to know. Bad health. So for a lot of you guys, you were stressed, all right? You were stressed with all of this weight, all right? With all of the chaos and weighed down, all of this heavy heaviness put upon you, going through courts, going through other legal matters, going through other different things, all right? It literally was putting a strain on your body. Yours, your, your worries 
right, was manifesting in the physical for you guys. All right, so now you're getting back into alignment where you got fully control of your mind. You don't, you have less to worry about now. All right, and that's also creating boundaries with the people that probably got you in certain situations. All right, Spirit, give me more on this bad health, please, and thank you. All right, great fortune. All right, so all of that is about to change. For a lot of you guys, you was in bad health because you ain't have no real living situation. For a lot of you guys, it wasn't even about the situ a living situation. You was just in a situation with somebody you didn't feel comfortable there. You felt like you was a burden rather than a guest or something like that. All right. Your security was kind of rocky. Your foundation was kind of rocky. So who wouldn't be stressed out? You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's something that had to do with your job. Maybe you had to leave something. Maybe you had to. It was a sudden change. All right. But when I tell you your great fortune is here because now you're in alignment. Now you're in tune with the right frequency and the vibration of good fortune. All right. So all of that bad luck is changing into good fortune. All right. And when I tell you, you are in a season of overflow right now. So expect miracles. All right. There's a house here where you're going to be able to call home. Look out for messages, emails. OK, there's a big upgrade happening when it comes to your security and stability and you being covered, you're sheltering. All right. So expect. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is on a horizon. This is coming. That's what was causing you a lot of stress because you had to depend on people that you didn't want to depend on just to lay your head. All right. All of that is going to be taken care of. There's a lot of stuff on a distance horizons for you guys that is already coming your way where you're going to be grounded in stability. Where it's going to give you a peace of mind where you're actually going to be far away from people that was causing you a lot of, you know, just um, distractions. All right, this is a sure success when it comes to your stability, your security, your covering, and your shelter. Home is where the heart is, and you're finally going to feel like that. All right, so yay. I love you guys, and I'm out.